Hi, good evening to you. This is Oscar November 4, Bravo Hotel Mike. From Juliet Oscar 21, Bravo Echo. I'm just gonna check on my own, on my own signal. Okay, I'm gonna switch this off and connect the DATV reception so I can monitor myself a little bit. myself mm. okay mm. oops I wanted to talk to talk about volume I wanted to talk about Internet of Things and especially the Particle I.O. I don't know if you, if you already know Particle I.O. Um, just to notice I'm not affiliated I have nothing to do with them except that I am a client of them and I wanted to show you their devices and yeah, it oops a bit like this yep okay this is my recent acquirement and um, they have several products um, the product that is installed in our uh, 82 meter mast to measure the power output the power the forwarded power and the reflected power and several temperature of the cooling plates are also a particle device but it's a GSM mod module included so that's one of the types they sell and the the nice thing about the particle is um, you can you can write software in some C type language um, like the Arduino style. Uh, their development is entirely web based, so you don't have to install anything. It's uh, just in the web, and you can program your device online. Uh, I believe it's called on the air OTA. Um, so even if your device is deployed and is miles and miles away from you, you can still do updates, bug fixes, etc. over the air and reload your firmware 
as if the device was in your hands. These are the latest, latest development kits and they are mesh networks. So there is one gateway, Wi-Fi gateway. This is the Wi-Fi mesh Bluetooth. I shall open the device, I shall open the box for you. And so this is the gateway to the Wi-Fi and it looks like this it's a small board and this board acts like a gateway for the mesh devices so it routes the data to the Wi-Fi and thus to the internet and the little boxes, so the mesh devices, are even smaller. They are mesh and Bluetooth. It looks like this. And we should open up a box. It's still packed. Open this. And this looks like this. I don't know if it's sharp, sharp enough. No, it's not sharp. Yeah, it's having difficult. It's difficult to to get it sharp. Okay. Um, there is a, a lipo, lipo, lipo um, connector and it can be powered by lipo batteries and when you plug it into the usb the lipos get uh, get um, uh, how do you say that loaded uh, charged uh, charged by it so these little devices can be put in a mesh network so if one device is out of range of the Wi-Fi the other device in the mesh can help to route the data to the gateway to the Wi-Fi gateway and thus also to the internet um, the, neat, the neat thing about this is that they have a portal in which you can program your device and in which you can um, send data to it and what you do with that data is completely up to you um, for the GSM module um, there is a SIM card uh, included and there is data on it and it costs three dollars a month for the data and the data is uh, I believe um, five meg megabytes of data that you can transport so Internet of Things is not about sending much data it's about sending data on a regular interval a small package and what's interesting about the, the Wi-Fi and the, the GSM gateway is that you can send data back to it that it's not only uh, sending data to the network but it can all, all, always it can also receive data and that's particularly handy when you connect uh, relays etc to the device you can send a packet to the device to operate uh, a LED, an LED or an, uh, or an uh, relay or whatever um, in the DVBT relay station here in town, Oscar November Zero Sierra November Whiskey. We can measure several amps, several uh, powers, the 12 volt distribution line and the 48 distribution line, line of the um, of the power amp, and measure the temperature in and out and of the cooling plate and of the environment and measure the 
power, the reflected power, and the forwarded power, so you can monitor the SWR. Um, so you can see that uh, you can measure that um, the transmission is all right and the antenna is all right and the SWR is okay. You can even uh, make it so that you can have an alarm. For instance, if the antenna would, would blow away from the tower after a, sto after a storm and the SWR would be terrible, then you can um, raise an alarm and by that uh, configure it in a later stage that you can have an SMS or shut down the power automatically or reduce the power or whatever you want. Um, we use relays uh, for that so it's not already programmed but it, it's I'm capable of doing that when he detects that the SWR or the um, the power load, or the, the the amps are too high. I can automatically switch the relay off and protect the transponder, the trans, uh, the PA, the DVB-T, 23 centimeter PA, so it would survive any other any problem. Um, it's running. It's running stable. Um, I connected a dashboard. I will maybe I will show it later on. I will I made a small dashboard of it, um, and the data is being put into a storage on the internet. And of that, you can have graphics or GOG uh, meters from Google, and I can see in an instance if um, the device is operating well. I'm, I want to pronounce again, I'm not affiliated with Particle, I have nothing to do with it, I have no um, connection with it, but they make excellent, excellent devices, they are top of the market and they are with the mesh now, with the um, addition of the mesh devices, uh, that's, the, that's the latest and greatest uh, feature they, ha they have on their devices. I haven't used Bluetooth in the devices because it's rather limited in what you can do with it I have not that much experience um, but but the Wi-Fi and the GSM is, is working perfectly so one of my next uh, projects will be to operate the mesh and uh, deploy a few of the devices in-house so I have co Wi-Fi coverage almost completely over the house, but um, the Wi-Fi gateways are ex more expensive than the pure mesh devices. The mesh devices are cheaper, and um, that's why I, I want to use them. Check them out on Particle.io, that's the website, Particle.io, and look around, and maybe if you're interested, interested in reeling Internet of Things and want to learn more about it and try it for yourself, then uh, I would really, really recommend their devices. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going back to the living room where my laptop is and check for any chat messages and um, if there are any questions, I will come back and answer them and otherwise I will shut down the transmission. This was Oscar November for Bravo Hotel Mike from Juliet Oscar 21 Bravo Echo. Good evening, good night, thank you for watching.